Hello, I'm Mark from uh, MirrorAthlete.com. Been a while since I've uh, put anything out there. Uh, just recently, I put out a couple of videos um, that I was filming in remote locations where I was uh, walking. You know, just to give you an idea that uh, you can do some different things if you if you suffer from chronic pain and you want to do something a little bit different or you're able to, you can get out there and do a little bit of walking. Good for circ circulatory properties, cardiovascular, uh, muscle toning and all that good stuff, fat burning. Um, uh, but those of you that suffer with chronic pain like I do understand that, <clears throat> you know, every one of us is different and we, we all experience um, our chronic pain differently. So, you know, we have to all apply or figure out how to apply different pain management programs and that's why I developed the uh, chronic pain center and the uh, um, um, the uh, mirror athlete with chronic pain section link uh, is a manuscript of how I've dealt with pain for the last 20 years and what I've done um, to live a healthy lifestyle with pain. Um, one of the uh, more controversial topics that I've written about and the reason I decided to write about this is because I know of people that use medical marijuana for their uh, for their pain, chronic pain, uh, whatever it might be. It's typically for low back chronic pain, uh, neck migraines, uh, arthritis, bursitis, rheumatoid arthritis and things like that. And if you want to go into the health repository or my health blog. Um, I've written articles on all those types of diseases and the recommendations to treat them naturally and things of that sort. Uh, each one of you that has become more familiar with your chronic pain understands that you alone are the only one that can figure out how to custom develop a program that will work for you. And um, of course this brings a lot of um, can bring a lot of disharmony within families. Um, I'm not uh, uh, one that has incorporated medical marijuana into my pain management program because I don't feel I need it. Um, not to say that I wouldn't use it if there was some point in time where you know I thought it would uh, have a great benefit for me but I have other issues I'm dealing with and I have my own pain management program that I've developed through the years. So each one of us has to make choices, understand the risks. Also, you have to look at the legalities of what it is uh, that you're doing. And um, I wrote this article because, you know, as I started talking with more people that were actually using uh, marijuana to uh, soothe, control pain and spasms, I thought, well, I, I should I should write an article on it, incorporate it into a pain management program as a choice, or at least um, you know check with each one of your state um, um, health uh, resources department and and figure out what the legalities are in your area. So if you go to the uh, uh, MirrorAthlete.com website and you look in the uh, health repository or health blog, you'll find this article and I'm going to be writing two more um, articles relating to, to marijuana use for pain relief. But what I wanted to do right now is I wanted to read you two paragraphs from the first article I wrote and um, that may or may not stimulate interest in looking further into this yourself. Okay, so here I go shouldn't take too long. Imagine if you could never get pain relief from a cough or a headache. Instead, the cough or headache became more chronic and would not go away for days, weeks, or even months. How would you feel if you couldn't get relief? Can you imagine going to work each day, taking care of your family, let alone yourself? I know you had this experience and can imagine if you could not get rid of this bug, what would you do? How would, you ch how would this change your life? Most of you have experienced a terrible bout of the common cold or flu. So there is some common ground in relating to what would you do if you had to learn to live with these symptoms on a daily basis. Hence chronic, never stops, continues to bother you every day. Or alleviate this pain. 
If you can't find relief, your quality of life suffers and so does all around you. Let's continue on with this example. When the symptoms are really bad, what do you do? You go to the doctor, they give you antibiotics. You then might also go to the local drugstore, load up on cough syrups, um, syrup and cough drops, uh, AM, PM relief medications, Tylenol, Tylenol, aspirin. Some do all of this while hitting the local sauna in hopes of sweating out the bug, then suppressing the cough by sipping on brandy until they fall asleep. Okay, now you get the idea. You search out pain alleviation modalities that are legal and available to you that suppress any number of pain type flu or cold symptoms. When pain exceeds physical and mental tolerances, all humans okay, will always look for the best way to customize a pain alleviation, hence pain management, program that works best for them. All legal choices should be available for consideration use within a pain management program. And one of the follow-up articles I'm going to write about is regarding addiction. Okay, so um, you're getting little bits and pieces here. Let me continue on. In many cases, chronic pain patients suffer far worse than those that have infrequent bouts with the flu or the common cold. Chronic pain for a pain patient does not go away and varies with frequency. Severity dependent on pain disorder and daily workload. Daily workload is activity, exercise, daily exercise, you know, whatever it is you're doing to move is an irritant. Those that don't understand chronic pain daily are typically not able to understand why a person would choose to smoke medical marijuana. So I kind of give you an analogy so that you can relate to um, um, something different than your typical over-the-counter or local pharmaceutical or pharmaceutical prescription from your doctor. And um, and in some cases with pain management programs, uh, you will end up signing a document from your doctor if you're at one of the, um, you know, the big three health providers that state you will not use anything other than what we prescribe you medical marijuana is out. Okay. So um, there's different choices. There's different alternatives, uh, just like my walking to get outdoors and, and do something that I'm capable of doing for um, infrequent periods of time or bouts um, provides motivation. It um, increases um, my self-worth or those that experience similar chronic pain that I do and also gives you something really to live for. Um, I know family's important. Families are something that we all live for, but you need to do something for yourself. And I call that motivational ed edge uh, activity. And this is one of the chapters in my Chronicles. And the Chronicles will soon become a book that, that you'll be able to purchase. So I highly recommend you sign up for the uh, free monthly subscription. Um, stay up to date with all the articles I write. It doesn't cost anything. Just go to the home site and look for the free subscription uh, e-newsletter monthly box. Just put your email address in there. I'm not going to solicit you or do anything. I'm just going to send you maybe a once a month promotional stuff. Um, so if you want to look at some cool, unique mind, body, soul type products that you could incorporate into your um, chronic pain, pain management program or acute pain management program, then you could do that. Um, also definitely visit our health media center. I post uh, these YouTube uh, videos there at the very bottom. And there we've got like diet and exercise and you know other other um, um, videos promoted by other health consultant wellness consultant experts. So with that being said, I think I've run out of time, and um, I'll uh, when I when I post these things, you'll you'll know when I post them because they'll be at my website under the health media uh, tab, so you can look for the new links. Okay, so have a good day, good health to you and your family, and um, take care.